Hi guys, Cindy here. So today I'm going to show you how you can take uh, a backpack or a wallet, a purse, any kind of bag that is plain um, and embellish it by using, uh, these are nail head uh, studs or I guess sometimes they're called uh, spot studs and this is a conch or concho, it has a screw back. Um, I just did a very simple uh, look just to kind of glam it up some and make it look more elegant. Um, you can, some people like to take the whole flap and do, you know, rivets all the way across. So really sky's the limit as far as how you want it to look. Um, so I'm going to show you step by step uh, and go over the tools you need and show you how easy it is to do this on your own. Okay? Okay, so this is a plain uh, leather wallet comes with a little wrist strap or a crossbody strap. So you'll need some tools. The first tool you'll need is an owl or an owl, A-W-L. I like this one a lot because it has this handle and sometimes it's hard to punch through thicker materials like leather um, and so it just gives you a good grip. Uh, just some plain needle nose pliers like you'd use for jewelry making. You'll need some some little rivets. Um, you can order these online. These are four millimeter uh, and they're round nickel, but you can get different sizes also. I've got all kinds of rivets. There are these these little square pyramid ones. Uh, these have like, they're multifaceted. I think they have six sides. Uh, if you want to really go for the bling, there are like uh, these crystal rivets. What you'll also need if you want to put some kind of decorative emblem on, like I picked up some Celtic conches. I think that's how you say it, C-O-N-C-H-S. Um, you can find these at craft stores, but usually the ones at the craft stores are all Western. Um, and I like these Celtic ones. What I'm gonna do with these, probably this one, is it's gonna go right here. But it has a screw back, so in order to do that, you need a either a punch hole tool like this. These work great. They will punch through leather very easily. They have a bunch of different sizes on them, you can see. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do once you decide where you want your rivets is you're gonna take your owl and you're going to punch some tiny little holes where you want to put the rivets. I'm going to use uh, these rivets here, if you can see those. I like these because they only have two prongs and so I only have to punch uh, two tiny little holes for each one. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go across the top with my rivets. Um, your holes don't have to be exact because the rivets themselves can be um, bent, but if you're going through leather, you usually have to give it a good push to get the holes in. So I did one there. And you just need them big enough so that the ends of the rivets will fit through. So I'm going to take my rivet. These are also known as spot studs, if you're looking online to order them. All right, so I push the two prongs through, and on the inside of the wallet, you can see there are just the two little prongs. So then you can use a screwdriver, a knife, I like using the pliers um, 
they're just really easy to use and I'm just going to bend them and you want to bend them enough so that when you go to put your hand in your wallet they don't poke you they can be kind of sharp so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go across the top what I try and do is space out the first three so they're even so I do the the two ends and then I do one in the middle and then I can work it you know in these two sections so that I end up with the same amount of rivets that are fairly evenly spread across if you just start at one end and put in rivets just kind of guessing you might end up at the end with way too much space or not enough space and then it will look funny go you know when you get to the end here okay so sometimes you'll make a little error in judgment like here I put this middle one a little bit too high um, the nice thing about using these spot studs or nail heads is that they you're putting such tiny little holes in uh, they probably wouldn't even hardly show up in fabric but in leather they will show up um, but not much and so I should be able to move this down a little bit and still have it look good so here you can see I have uh, one whole side done I'm going to go ahead and go around the flap I've decided to use this Celtic conch uh, most of these that you'll order online or find in the stores are screwbacks which is nice. All right, so I measured. I think I have this centered. I took a pen and put a little dot where my hole is going to go. I want I want the conch to go right above the seam in the center. Okay, you can see now I have a hole. Okay, so I got the hole punched. I ended up having to go a couple sizes bigger. Better to start small and make bigger than have it be way too big. So these just screw on. Like I said, in most of the craft stores you'll find Western. So if you like uh, the Western motif, you can probably find a good selection of those. Otherwise, if you want to find something different, um, you can find them on Amazon or eBay, places like that. So here's how that looks, and I really like that. I think that has a nice look. Um, so now I'm gonna go around with the rivets now that the conch's in place. Almost done. Okay, so uh, my crossbody wallet is all done. A uh, lot less boring than it was when I first got it, uh, and easy to do. Okay, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned. I uh, hope my steps were good enough and you learned how to do your own bag. And I think in the future I might do a video um, on how I did this, how you stud a jacket, or how you can do your jeans, shorts, um, shirts. And they each take kind of different types of studs or more ideal for different types of situations. So maybe soon I'll have some new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.